So I just read St. Joan of Arc by Vita, and I've never read anything else by her. Um, I just bought everything she's ever written. I'm so intrigued by this person. There's a sort of pragmatism to her writing, but sort of an awareness of the small and tender things in a way that feels very protected. I think that she is somebody that, and I could be wrong, I need to sort of learn more about this person, I'm so curious about her, but she seems protective of her intellect, very proud of it, and it seems like it's being broadcast. It just makes sense considering, you know, I think she was writing in like the 20s and wasn't it, it wasn't like the easiest time comparatively, it's hard to generalize, but for a woman at that time having, having a voice and having it be so loud, she just feels like this undeniable force. And when I read the biography, I had been inspired to read St. Joan of Arc by a book called The Chronology of Water. And Lydia Yuknovich, who wrote that book, it's a, it's a memoir. She, she talks about a lot of the books in her life, this being a really, really seminal and foundational f formative experience reading this thing. And I just can't really believe that it happened. There is something about believing in something so much, so hard, and sort of just making mountains move and making men change. There are a few lines in it that are so striking. There's one about um, that she changed the minds of men, or if they couldn't change her mind, then they would destroy her body. It moved me to the core. And you could have written that story in so many different ways. And the way she decided to talk about her was so cool. It just said so much more. It just, it was so much more than historical fiction to me. All we do is make up stories. That's how we live. That's how we survive. That's how we make it through. Everyone's narrative is different. And so for her to impose hers with the strength that she did, I just can't believe, the power that she had is just like, it's miraculous. It feels like an absolute miracle. And it also feels like insanity, which sometimes, obviously, it's really hard to tell the difference between those two things.